shoulder, please. Afternoon. I didn't feel like I was speeding. You weren't. You got a busted rear left tail light there. Better get it replaced. Well, I didn't realize it must have just happened. But I'll get that fixed as soon as we get back from Grandma's in Denver. Good idea. All right, sir. Okay. Uh, actually, since we're here, might as well see your license and registration, please. Mr. Coster, take it easy. Okay, thanks a lot. But you didn't know you had a grandma in Denver, huh, kid? Attention all police agencies. Possible kidnapping. Subject female child, approximately eight months. Last seen in company of white, male, dark hair, driving black, four-wheel drive vehicle.
Last time for this, okay? Thanks, Mr. Coster. Table two, your food's up. Hey, Princess. Oh, hey. How are you? Guess what? What? Starting tomorrow, me and Johnny are going to be majority owners in the restaurant. Oh, well, that's positive. No, I'm happy. I wouldn't know it standing here. I'm not in a hilarious mood. Hilarious mood? You haven't been in a hilarious mood since the baby was born. What's the problem? Well, I know you sleep. Now you're going to beat that joint around the clock. I like to think of it as positive. It makes it more likely I can hire me some help, right? Yeah. Whose beer is this? I don't drink this beer. You know, I waited at the market for over an hour. You were going to pick me up, remember? Finally, I called Lee Granger. He was there in about five minutes. You know, it's really tough lugging a kid around town without a car, Larry. I mean, weren't we going to take care of that, right? Remember? Sorry. Yeah, well, sorry's not good enough. Sorry. What's the matter? You can have your sister pick you up or one of your little friends? I'm capable of having company without having it in bed, Larry. I'm not capable of having that clown in my house, like I told you. And you're telling me again. Nothing happened. Boss, relax. It's going good. Look at all the happy faces. Hey, those are your drinks. You're a good manager. You think you'll make a good owner? Say that seriously? Come on, you and your new partner will do well. Partners, Johnny and I played basketball with those guys. Of course, I sat out most of the game. So how come they're grading on you? Because they put me in at the end of the game. I'd rough them up, get kicked out, but we'd win. <laughs> hey, don't you trust me to run this place? Or don't you feel like going home? Yeah, well, you guessed right on that. Come on, come on. Oh, what are you doing? Play with me? Push from the back. I'm not pushing. What are you, the referee or the plate? We're not in high school anymore, you know that, right? You know what's that? So, man, how's Andrea and Jessica? Ah, oh, good. Yeah. I don't think fatherhood's really coming too easy for me. Well, they said marriage was easy. I won't say that for sure. Come on. Come on. Okay, my ball. Your ball. My ball. I'm balling. You're dead. All right, take it. Oh, oh, let's go. My ball. My ball. Come on. Come on. Come on. Take it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You gonna do something about this? You're standing right there. Why don't you check for yourself? Would you lose the cigarette, please? Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, she's dry, so what do you think's wrong? Why don't you act like a regular dad and pick her up? All right, she's not going to bite you. Oh, whoa, 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 She's teething, Larry. Maybe babies they throw up when they teeth, okay? So just be gentle. That's all I'm saying. Okay, just be gentle. I know, gentle with her. Just don't move her so much. That's Andrew, all I'm saying. Andrew, what do you want me to do? I just... Here. What? Larry, I'm just saying, be gentle. Larry, what do you think, huh? What do you think? You think I snuck out at night and made this baby with Lee Granger? Is that what you think? It's how you act with her. You act like she's not even your baby. 
You know, you wanted this child as much as I did. You said if we had this baby, it would make us more family. That's what you said. I mean, ever since we had her, though, you're never real. You go, you go to the restaurant, you hang out with those job now, buddies Andrew. of yours. Don't start That's this all you do. Here. You're never home. You never spend time with her or us. Oh, Larry, listen. Yeah. Listen to me. Larry, you know, you got to pick her up and you've got to hold her and tell her that you love her. She's got to feel that you love her, Larry. I'm starting to think something's wrong with me. Whatever happened to you? I think about her all day long. As soon as I get home, I pick her up. First thing I do, put her down. It's weird, huh? I, what, I don't know. What are you talking about? Your wife or your daughter? Give me the, uh, the fellowship. I'm talking about my daughter, Johnny. I can't talk to Andrew. She's been pissed off all the time. I don't want you to think this is interfering with my concentration in terms of the restaurant, because it's not. No one's thinking that. Okay? No one's thinking that. Don't worry about that. Want to know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, why am I doing this? You know, I'm a lawyer. I'm not an electrician. Can I remember how beautiful Andrea was in high school? Oh, God, yeah. She was hot. They were all jealous. They? You were jealous. I was a little jealous. She... I gotta work on my marriage. Maybe you should. Huh. Maybe I am an electrician. I know. Oh! Gee! sister's house. You're not welcome. Why are you doing this here? Because I've had it with you, Larry. I've had it with you. This relationship is not even a relationship anymore. I can't handle it. No. Okay. Why are you doing this? Look, I'm not going back to that house. You're going to get your stuff out of there. You get your stuff out of there. Just in time for your boyfriend anymore? I'll leave him out of this. It's got nothing to do with him. Okay, it's you. You got the problem. You lead two or three different lives. It's really obvious that Jessica and I are at the bottom of that list. You're not ready for us. At least Lee's happy to see us. At least he's there for us when we need him. Look, you were just a kid, okay? What are you, an adult? Listen, you're going to have to start paying for child care. I got my job back at Chili's, and I'm going to start working the day shift, so you work it out. I will work it out with my lawyer. <gasps> yeah, you get a lawyer, tough guy. You get a lawyer. Get a good one. Yeah. Sole custody of said infant female, to wit, Jessica Claire Coster, awarded to Andrea Coster. Visitation is described without limitation, provided adequate daycare is furnished. a good girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like you taught me. Okay, now, okay, 
Well, what do we do next? I mean, should we should we change the diaper? Well, first let's check to see if we need to. Uh oh, she's soaked. I just got her from the house. So it's okay. She's a baby. My kids had these things when they were this age. They have it that bad? No. Not that bad. Oh. Pediatrician. You can dress her, nurse. Let's take a little walk, Mr. Coster. I'm glad that you brought her in. I mean, none too soon, I might have. Oh, well, I've had, uh, you know... This child needs attention. What are we talking about? I mean, it's just diaper rash, right? It's infected. Much longer than you would have had to hospitalize her. Hospitalize? Look, I'm going to write a prescription for an antibiotic. Now, I want you to apply it three times a day and keep her dry. It is surprising you didn't notice this sooner. I haven't seen her since Tuesday. She lives with her mother. Should she have noticed it sooner? Would you say that not noticing it is unusual? What you're asking is a legal question, and I'm not a lawyer. And I'm not under oath, and I really don't wish to venture an opinion. Except for a medical one. You understand. Not particularly, no. It's a diaper rash. All babies get it. I didn't say the rash was infected. The doctor said the rash was infected. Well, naturally. Didn't want you to think you were wasting your money. Okay. I wasted my money. Are you going to put that on the baby three times a day or not? Listen to you. A month ago, you couldn't be bothered. Now you're Dr. Spock? <laughs> I can't tell you what it does to me to have you giving me lessons in the art of raising my child. Andrea, why are we arguing about that? Oh, go to hell. Let me say this to you slowly so you understand. Stay off the sauce. And take care of our baby. Not staying for supper? Honey, I'm home.
But no. I don't leave her arm. Oh my, it's like somebody's grabbing her. What do you think of that scratch in her eye? I don't know. Like kids, you know, sometimes they fall. Sometimes not. She had her all weekend. Oh, God. I just don't think Henry would harm this child, but I don't know anymore. Larry, it's time you figure out what's going on. Because you have to do something today. You know, I know things have not been great between us, but... But what? What? Huh? Oh, uh... I just know that you would never take it out on someone else. Did you like her new jacket? Because, uh... I don't see it anywhere. I like her new jacket just fine. It's fine. Until it gets dirty and then it's laundry, just like everything else. It's really funny what you notice and what you don't. <coughs> it's okay. I'm just here. <coughs> Leland. Daddy? No, you did the right thing to bring her in, Mr. Costner, if you suspect abuse. It's just that there's no point in this department taking a look at her unless she has an obvious open wound or a broken bone. Well, what if I wanted someone to investigate? HRS, Child Welfare Division, 16th and Ocean. We turn everything over to them anyway. Good luck, sir. Okay. Look, I can't wait for her to fit your definition of abuse. I can't help you till she does. I'm terribly sorry, but at this point, my hands are tied. All right, well, who can help me? Can your boss help me? My boss will say the same thing. Because my boss is younger than I am and has less experience, she'll probably add, go talk to a lawyer. And 200 bucks and a lot of time and grief later, you'll get the same answer that I just gave you for nothing. I don't understand what a person is supposed to do in this situation. Am I supposed to just hope for the best? There are worse ideas. I can't believe you would call social services. Do you know how humiliating it was? They came in the house, they went up through the closets. God! You know what? I think I'm gonna have to keep her for a while. What? I'm gonna keep the baby for a while. No, 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 no. No, no, you can't do that. I swear to God, Larry, if you keep this child one minute longer than you're supposed to, I'll call the police and yeah, okay. you'll be in jail and you won't see her again until she's 18. I'm serious. I don't... This is trouble, you know? I mean, I, 
I think you really should rethink this. Well, I've done all that. This is the only way I know she'll be safe for sure. I understand your problem. It's just there's got to be a better way to handle the situation. I'll pay you back as soon as I can. Not about the money, okay? It's about prison. It's about you going to prison. Look, all I can think about is what she's facing, and she didn't ask for any of it. Take these smokes. I'm giving these up. And you can throw it away. Save some time. Just be careful, all right? Take care of her. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Come on. That he kidnapped Jessica? She doesn't have to claim it. That's what he's done. So if there's anything you haven't told us, she'd be wise to tell it now. This case is going to have a federal agent working on it starting Monday. I don't want it. Tell me why. If you recall, my last Breno kidnapping didn't go so well. Well, this won't be like that. How the hell you know? Myers' case shouldn't have turned out like that. Bro, you can't hang on to this case for your whole life. A three-year-old girl was murdered and tossed in a dumpster because I screwed up. I didn't get there soon enough and I should have. Just find somebody else for this. Can't do. You get the call. It is as simple as that. Why? I don't understand. Just put another agent on this. I can't do that. This came from upstairs. Now we got a guy out there who is volatile with a baby. We want a pit bull. You get the call. Fine. You want a pit bull? You got it. No, I would not carry that metaphor too far. As I recall, the last perpetrator you snagged for us had a five-week detour in Memorial Hospital before he could utter a statement through his nicely wired jaw. He tried to run me down. When I collared him, he took a swing at me, I swung back. Well, it was better than shooting him. Oh, well, that's cute. That, that's very cute. Thank you, Jeff. Look, just do this for me, okay? Oh, for you. If I do this, I want a reassignment to the Orlando office. We can talk about Orlando later. Just take this Larry Coster guy down first. He's been on the move. You know, this guy is switching around from trains to buses to rental cars. What'd you get from the airport? We've sent out photographs, now the flyers, but so far we haven't... Followed up on anything? Can I use this? Yeah, 2991 Dowd RF. I need a rundown, cash only, air ticks purchase. Possibles, Nashville, Kansas City, Atlanta, 5 Feb. Next try Amtrak and all cross-country bus carriers. 
What, what is it? Where's this guy from? Modesto, California. He's from Modesto, California. So let's start with that. He's heading west. Count on it. He's traveling with an infant, so most likely they'll be needing special meals. Okay, that is it for me. I like your laid-back approach, Dowd. Well, sorry to inject the time element here, but maybe you haven't heard of the Angela Myers case? Oh, I'm familiar with it. This was not more than 30 miles from where we're sitting. We found her body. Coster's friend said he took her because he was afraid. Afraid of what was happening or could happen to her here. Well, go fish. Because that is word for word what Angela Myers' father told police. By the way, Larry Coster is being charged with assault. The sooner we slam this father down, the better. Can I use this just one more time? Second. Look, I'm getting a lot of complaints from my other rumors. If you can't keep that baby quiet, you'll have to leave. No, it's well, a let baby. me see her. Crying out. Oh, will you look at this little angel? Oh, <laughs> sometimes there's nothing the matter. <laughs> Babies just cry. Probably misses her mother. You miss your mommy? Huh? So do I. Any response to the flyer? As far as I know. In other words, you haven't checked yet. God, you need a directive from D.C.? It wouldn't hurt, Roy. I mean, normally in this kind of situation... There's nothing normal about this. There is a child involved, and we want this guy before something happens. Where do you want me to start? We're in a restaurant. How's that for a start? You're listening to Quality FM, the sound of San Francisco. Let's take a break in our music corner room. We'll take a look at our big room. There's a strong low pressure system as you toward the city from the north. For part of the day, when this temperature's drop, we can experience the first sleep of the season. We have an umbrella stand. Sorry to bother you. I'm gonna go get some milk, and uh, I'm wondering my baby's asleep. Could you maybe keep your ear open for him? Well, I'm only gonna be here for another half hour. Just take a couple minutes. Okay. Thanks a lot.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. People ought to pass a test before they let them have babies. Where's the milk? They ran out. I'm going to get it later. I'm sorry. Hello? Yes, uh, I'd like some information about your group. I'll bet you would, you son of a bitch. One of them breathers? Oh, like a cop. Of course, they ain't mutually exclusive, I guess. Damn that Tribune. Honey, what good are we if people don't know the number? What? Yeah, uh... I think we got cut off or something. No, we didn't get cut off. I just don't have time for no crank calls. You know, you're probably on the trail of your poor damn wife, and you won't get near as long as we can stop you, and that goes double for your child. Oh, you got that backwards, lady. I swear to God. Backwards? What's that supposed to mean? Just what it sounds like. Look, mister, what we do is protect children from people who want to give them back to the wrong parents. Look, I know how to read, and I wouldn't be calling you if I didn't need your help. Okay. Run over to Union Station main platform, wait near the payphone. Wait there. Are you setting me up? Wait there. I'll call you in ten minutes. Ten minutes, okay? Anybody else answers, I hang up. It's over. Trippin' should have waited for this one. Anything? Could be... This is, um... It's got a... Facial hair, scars, glasses, sunglasses, and a black windbreaker. Well, that's a start. And you say he was coming out of store. A National Inter Post. Great. Well, you have just saved me everything west of Van Ness. The world's getting smaller. Check it out. So if you're lying, we'll turn you in faster than you can think it. Hey, you give me your real name and address. Why should I trust you? Look, if I was a cop, I could fake an ID, no problem. Tell me I'm wrong. Go inside. Find the phone near the clock. It's going to ring in 30 seconds. Be there. And don't talk to anyone on the way. You're being watched. used to strangers handling. Give the child to me, please. Uh, I can't find a man to do the job right now, but I'm going to have to see if you're wearing a wire, if you've got a gun. I can stand it if you can stand it. So, what is it you think we can do for you? My money's running out. I can't find a job without giving myself away. I need help getting lost. 
I need help taking care of my daughter. Why don't you just take her home to mom? Why? Because I was finding scratches on her. Marks. A rash that got infected because of neglect. And because I don't trust my wife's boyfriend. You an expert on abuse? I know something about abuse. You're not going to find anything on her. They've long since healed. Oh, we can still see them. They don't heal that fast. You might just end up in a museum someday. You're the first man that's asked for our help. So does that mean you're going to help me? Somebody after you already? Not that I know of. Well, you know, there's some flyers that are circulating. That's what I thought. So what does that mean? Are you going to help me or not? I don't want to be jerked around here. Oh, we'll have to check you out first. And that'll take a couple of days. Now, name. Larry Coster, C-O-S-T-E-R. Look, what do you mean a couple of days? I need help right now. What am I supposed to do in the meantime? You survived, Mr. Coster. credit card at least twice we know he's here somewhere he contacted you yeah as a matter of fact he has he, he, he came to me in my dreams telepathically he told me that you're painting a fight three to seven for eight in the bed look you're paying any attention why he took the kid seems to me i've heard it somewhere listen you got my number you hear from him you call it tell him to come on home before i lose my temper for good hey don't threaten me i'm a lawyer all right What did you bring me? Guy matching the ID. Tried to get a job shucking oysters at some trendy joint down on Gary. He went to get paid under the table. Manager shined him on, but gave him a lead to a Chinese restaurant. Going over there got me hungry. Yes, uh-huh. Had a baby girl with him. Okay. You want to bring the rice? I didn't see it. Man, you had a front row seat. You didn't see how this started? I was taking care of my kid. I didn't see it, man. Come here, come here. <laughs> Hold this one. Here. Well, look, you best take off then so I don't have to lie for you. Okay, I put in 12 hours. I need my bread. Yeah, but you don't want to stay in time for the cops. I got a hungry kid here, okay? That is not my problem. Dude, come on, man. Look, I don't know what's happening with you, man. Here. Now, take off. Don't come back. I won't. You're a good manager. They ought to give you days. Yeah, yeah. Why here? I just got a hunch he's getting help from that underground group. Letitia Stevenson, somebody I know from way back. You think the old lady's lying? Well, she wouldn't be the first old lady to do that. Larry. Oh. What are you doing here? If I wasn't here, in about five minutes, you'd be on your way downtown. What are you talking about? Who are they? The feds. Who else? They show the landlady your picture. You go upstairs, she puts a candle in the window, and they pick you up. A candle in the window? It's a figure of speech. She calls them on the phone. Ah, damn it. 
Well, you want to go upstairs and find out? No. Look, uh, I owe her some back rent. I hate to walk out on her. Oh, hell. What? I was all set not to like you. Are you serious about the rent? I've been ripped off before. I like to pay my bills. Are you surprised? Not really. All right, look, we better get going. Take this. I don't think he's gonna show. No, he's here somewhere. Sooner or later, he is bound to show. What's that? Got to be in. Move it! Move it! Oh, my, was I exceeding the speed limit, Mr. Policeman. You don't look like a policeman. Go sign a costume. Dance, You're not some kind of weirdo, are you? Going downtown for a visit, Miss Letitia, honey. Let's go. Letitia. She'll be out now. They got nothing to hold her on. Okay. Let him pass out. We can start the process in the morning. How often do we get a man this helpless? Why does it smell like egg foo young in here? Tell me about this underground women's group. Oh, you read that article? Yeah. We've been on all the talk shows, too. Wearing masks, of course. I wore a Nixon mask myself. You know you are involved in a highly suspect criminal activity. I know ain't a damn thing been proved yet in the court of law. I know that right now you're holding me without probable cause, and that's highly suspect. Could find out who you really are? Oh, well, let me in on it when you do. Look, you got nothing, and you know it. Free to go. Yeah. You're free to put a tail on me. I'll lead him around town, going nowhere for the next week, spending my good taxpayers' money on nothing. In the meantime, they're blowing up buildings out there. Why aren't you working on that? I wish I knew. Where's Letitia? She had a conflict in her calendar. Yeah. Don't open it yet. Just listen. What we have to offer you is not a walk in the park. It means you have to change everything from the skin out. Now we'll set you up with a new identity, a place to live, a job, a new life. All that, huh? All that means you have to let go of whoever, whatever you were before. I just have to look at you to know you had a pretty good time now and again, being this Larry. <laughs> yeah, I had a blast. Well, all that's gone now. You hold on to any part of it, and she's back in the same crap you just pulled her out of. Okay, I can't understand. Are you sure? I don't know if my parents are still alive. Finding out could be dangerous for my children. I may never know. It's you. Birth certificate. Born the same year as you died on the way home from the hospital. Parents and child in a five-car pileup. With it, you get a fishing license, driver's license, credit card, social security. You tell them you're an ex-con who never worked an honest day before this. The whole thing will take a couple of weeks. And what? What if they catch you? Guess what? You're dead. So guess what? Don't let them. And who am 
might you be? Scott Rhodes. What's your middle name? Paul. Birthday? September 9th, 1957. Social Security? 899-24-1894. Good. Let's take a break. Larry, you want a cold drink? Yeah, you know, I wouldn't mind. What? Ah. Oh. Okay. Who might you be? Scott Rhodes. Social Security number. Eight nine nine two four eighteen ninety four. Birthday. Okay, Scotty. The sooner you're out of San Francisco, the better. We like it. Train to Kansas City. Greyhound to Great Falls. Local bus to Seattle. Wait with your baby by the loading ramp. Someone will find you there. I don't know who. I don't know how I'm gonna thank you all. You're maybe a silver tongued devil compared to most men. Get out of here. Scott, you know, we've had a lot of women do worse. Keep it up. You're doing the right thing. So I'll see you. Her mommy. She died last year. I'm on a break. I go to lunch at 12 30. The parking lot behind the red office building across the street. My name is Veronica. Welcome to Seattle, Mr. Rhodes. Look what I got for you. Have you ever seen something so big? Come here. Look at this. Look at that. You got your own bunny rabbit. Huh? You forget things, huh? What? What did I forget? We've been over this, remember? Never buy a lot of baby food from one particular place, especially one near where you live. Buy it on the fly from big, busy supermarkets where nobody knows you. In fact, that's where you should buy everything, when nobody knows you. Yeah, yeah you're right. I forgot. <coughs> Jeez, honey, I'm sorry. Don't be cavalier about this. Come on, just relax a little. Okay? Yeah, I'll relax when you stop being stupid. Or, or the next thing you know, your butt is going to be in a vice, and some insensitive jerk from social services comes to hold Jessica. All right, away. hold on, I got it. Don't say that. All right, I was being stupid. This is all new to me. I'm just starting to catch up. Okay, we'll finish our tea, and then I'll, I'll show you the place where you'll be working. Great.
took her some time to get used to a strange city, new school, friends. And she's doing pretty well. Angela isn't doing as well. She just needs too much mending to be on the run, so I had to leave her with my brother. Hiding out on a farm in the Midwest. Must never get to talk to her. I just hope that he can keep her safe. Why you don't think he can? Well, I don't know. It's not a big news item where I come from, and everybody back there thinks that her dad is a pretty good guy. Huh. I used to. You ever miss your ex? Never. Do you? Never. I don't know. Sometimes. I mean, how do you get used to this? How do you live your life like this? I mean, for the long haul, how do you do it? You don't get used to it. You just have to do it. You get away from the problem and then you're in limbo. Forever, maybe. Well, what about romance? There is no romance. Huh. None? No. No romance. Let's not go there. Okay. Of course. We already are there. see him, please give us a call. Sure thing. Will do. Okay, thanks. find another place to settle. I, I, I'll get a new name. I don't want to know your new name or your old one. Go wherever you have to go. I don't want to know anything. I, I don't even know who I'm talking to. This is a crank call. Give me a minute, okay? Hang on. You don't have a minute. I know. Listen. Take care of yourself. And your baby. Good luck. Can we just... Goodbye.
neat as a pin. Yeah, how them guys mostly are, though. Who are them guys? Men with unusually strong interests in women under the age of three. Yeah, them guys. Otherwise, what the hell would you be chasing them so hard for? Hard? This hadn't gotten hard yet. Roy, nothing is in concrete. Somebody must have taken that transfer. Yeah, but the assignment is conditional. I mean, you could still be eligible. Just tell the truth. I've been jobbed again, right? Roy. Stop with the job already. What about this guy, Coster? Now, we understand the underground movement is popping up in Miami, Louisville, and Minneapolis. We gotta put a lid on this, and fast. You think the movement might still be involved? Yeah, somebody is picking up this guy's breadcrumbs. He is not operating alone. That's great, but what's your instinct on this, Coster? Are you getting into this guy's mind yet? Close. Plate spotted. Spy? It's on the it's toll booth guard. He needs to do much. Where? I-5, he's heading south. And fast. He's gonna ditch that car, find a little local airport, and fly. Where? Well, what does it look like? He probably sure seals the leak. Uh, your oil pan gasket is shut. You can fix that kind of stuff? Yeah, with your tools I can. Well, then that'll be 20% back to me. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right, so what'd you say your name was? Brian Morley. Oh, good enough, Brian. So you come back tomorrow? More than likely. More than likely. She hasn't stopped whining all day. I gotta go. What do you mean you gotta go? I made you to watch her. Well, my boyfriend. What happened? I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Did you leave her alone? Okay. What's the matter? 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 Jerry, I got a split. What's happening? I got a split. Well, then what's going on? No, I'm paying cash. I got the money. I'm going to pay cash. Can you? Moreland. Brian. Brian Moreland. I'll carry okay. Look, is there much of a way? Because I, I really need There's to see someone please, right sir. away. I know, sir, but I have to get some information before you can see a doctor. I don't have time for paperwork. I need her to see a doctor. I need her to see a doctor right now. She's fine. You're the one who's got a problem. Let's go.
couple different ways we can end this. Your call. You're the guy I almost hit with the car. Who I am is a very agitated man with a gun. Get your hands up. Well, you must have known you'd get caught. How come you took off like that, Mr. Coster? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. I've been running for so many months, it was second nature to me. So running away is just kind of second nature to you, huh? Is somebody feeding my daughter? It's feeding yeah, time. I want to know no, that no, she's no, being no, no, fed. No, she's fine. She's heading home. We know all about that outfit in San Francisco. Then why ask me about them? Who's your contact in Seattle, Larry? Now, come on. By helping me, you help yourself. No, there's no one in Seattle. Yeah. Not a soul. No questions will be answered. They will answer to the press conference. Right now, this baby needs to be reunited with her mother. And that's what we're going to do. So please give us some room. She's been through enough. Thank you. Could you please back away from the baby? As I said, all questions will be answered at the press conference. Thank you. Try to keep bugging you about that. You know what? They're going to extradite him here for kidnapping. Yeah, and then they're going to hit him on abuse charges. He's been a bad boy. Oh, that's, come on, now that's crazy. You know that the women in San Francisco. Oh, what women in San Francisco? He, what are you women? talking about? Are they going to testify for your buddy? He made it up. He knows they can't come out of hiding, and he wants somebody like me, a woman, a mother, so that that jury will think, well, she wouldn't sit next to a guilty man every day like that. Would you just, would you talk to one more person, a woman who isn't hiding? This won't take long. I, I'm very busy. My children are expecting me home before I, I go back to the restaurant. Too busy to talk about Larry Coster? That's different. Ask me anything. Coster alone, would you? He's been instructed not to make any statements till he's talked to me. I'll be representing him. Well, actually, I represented you just now in the bond hearing and the arraignment, sir, but I'm not sure that I can take your case. Whatever you decide. Unfortunately, you also have an assault charge against you, a Leland Granger. We have a conference tomorrow morning. Okay, in the meantime, can I see my daughter, please? No, but I will put on a formal request. For the record, it does look good. I don't care how it looks. I need to see my daughter. Would you go see her? Would you just see how she's doing for me? I congratulate you on your choice of an attorney, but she will be the first to point out that there are serious consequences down the road. However, there is another consideration. The child and the child's mother have both been subjected to an ordeal from which it will take them years to recover. Cut to the chase, Derek. Your signature on this agreement will facilitate a reduction in charges to one of illegal restraint that will carry with it a two-year suspended sentence. Effectively, that means you may walk out of this building today a free man. Go on. It will, of course, be contingent on your agreement to honor an injunction. To wit? That henceforth you will refrain from seeking to have any contact with Jessica Clare. The meeting's over. The meeting's over. Mr. Coster. Have you any idea what can happen to people convicted of molestation once the novelty wears off? Prison meets out its own form of justice. There is no way. No, I've waited this long. I'll wait for as long as it takes. And the name is Jessica Claire Coster, you smart bastard. Counselor? You got me. Take care of yourself and your baby. Running away is just kind of second nature to you, huh? Keep it up. 
You're doing the right thing. No, I've waited this long. I'll wait for as long as it takes. the logic again of having an all women jury because right now I feel like I'm gonna get crucified you gotta trust me on this try to relax Larry detective Fisk would you characterize yourself as an expert on child abuse I'd say I'm well trained well trained I've worked in the juvenile division for five and a half years I've handled many cases like this good you said that Mr. Coster's child had an ace bandage on her arm when she left the hospital, is that right? As I recall, she did. Uh, did you determine in your investigation what the injury was to her arm? Well, there was terminology. Uh, correct terminology was nursemaid's elbow, is that right? That's right. Detective Fisk, is it true that you were unable to come to a conclusion that it was an injury caused by a volitional act? Objection. The witness is not an expert. In, uh, in that area, in the determination of a volitional act. Well, I am pleased to withdraw the question, especially in the light of Mr. Cole's information that his witness is not an expert. Could you tell us what you did during the year period trying to locate your daughter? I enlisted volunteers, relatives, to help me make up flyers. We went around to different malls during the holidays and put them in store windows under windshield wipers. We even went to some grocery stores and asked if we could put the flyers in the grocery bags. They said no. Thank you. Good morning. Mrs. Coster, correct me if I'm wrong, but you say that in January when you started dating your new friend Lee, up until Larry took Jessica in May, that you never noticed any bruises on her body? I noticed a scratch, yes. A scratch? You didn't notice persistent, terrible scratches? No, no. On May 24th of that same year, while in your care, did Jessica fall from her walker and hit her head? Yes. Isn't it true that your drinking habits with your ex-live-in lover led to a hostile environment that Larry perceived as dangerous and unsafe for his daughter? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I know. I... Thank you. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think so. I, I don't know. No. What? Could you lay off her a little? Hey, Larry, I'm not unconscious here. Look, I can tell what a bastard you can be, and you might have been to her, but you are not going to make up for it now by volunteering yourself for seven years in the slam. There are more productive avenues, all right? She left. No! Isn't it true that Larry repeatedly questioned you about the marks on the baby's body? No! Isn't it true that Larry bought Jessica her clothing No! Time? Isn't it true that when you were informed that your baby had been found in Minneapolis, that you did absolutely nothing about it? Oh, I don't know what you're talking when about! When Detective Denovi told you that Jessica had been found, why didn't you get on a plane and immediately go to your daughter's side? I do... I... I am a good mother! Because I was... I was working! It's a matter of working the jury. Make eye contact. Be honest. Be sincere. Larry, they have to believe your story or it's over. Larry, what day was your daughter born? August 11th, 9.06 a.m. Did you make any special preparations at your home for her? Yes, I had the whole house renovated. Objection. Relevance? I'll allow it. 
Was there anything else you did besides uh, furnishings and fittings? Well, even before Andrea conceived, I think we talked about everything uh, together. Breast feeding, vaccinations, uh, what to name, if it was a boy or a girl, schools, that sort of thing. Were you in agreement on most things? We learned to compromise if we didn't agree. You know, from, to be honest, uh, I really at the time wasn't totally prepared to be a father. I don't think. I went through all those motions. I fixed the house up and I really had other priorities. I became a father out of necessity. I became a father because I thought my child's life was at stake. And uh, I'm not proud that it took that kind of a wake-up call, but, uh, you know, a baby can't wait for the parent to grow up. A baby's needs are immediate. So, I know as her father, I'm going to do anything or everything to protect my child. Objection, Your Honor. The answer is unresponsive and totally self-serving. Not if you're listening, counsel. Address the court or the witness, Ms. Gaines. I'll entertain a motion to strike. So moved. Previous statement of the defendant is stricken. The jury is admonished to disregard it. All in all, I think you made a good impression. You haven't lied to me yet. Don't start now. My chances are slim to none, right? I've seen worse. And better, but I've never seen better than you. <laughs> Why, Mr. Costa? I think maybe tonight you can... Go by the house again? Yeah, I will if I have the time. There is something I need to work on the night before tomorrow. There you go. Get some sleep. You never know. You never know. Okay, where are you? Grant Cert, let's stand. stand local statute hello he had only a high school education still he managed to work himself into the ownership of a successful and a popular restaurant but he fled just as mr. Cole says he did he gave it all up not to hurt or endanger Jessica but to save her this father believed in his heart that his child was in a potentially dangerous and a disastrous environment. He had to do something. Wouldn't you if you thought that your child or grandchild were in danger? As a mother, I know I would. Unfortunately, our system failed Larry Coster. He was left with no choice. So he gave up his life so that his child would have one. No, he did not bring in a child whose bones had been broken. He presented exactly what it is he is presenting today, which the legislature, in its infinite wisdom, has chosen to include as a defense. I cite the appellate court's decision to let stand a statute. If a parent has a reasonable belief reasonable belief that his child is being abused he can legally take and conceal that child into another state legally now you've heard his friends testify as to his deep concern and his personal misery he did what he had to do he did what any loving, caring father would do. Members of the jury, 
Do not let our system fail Larry Coster again. I think I better say my thank you now. You're welcome. And if we win, you thank the appellate court too. Relax, everybody. Decided to forgive you for almost pounding me into the asphalt at the marina. I can't read this one. Maybe he's got a cockeyed chance, maybe not. But if not, we're going to a penalty hearing. Yes. I still think he was wrong to do it. Granting that, he took his daughter to a clinic in Minneapolis. Uh, Mr. Noni had a pretty good chance of getting caught. Still, his daughter was hurting, and uh, that's what mattered most. Would you testify to that in court? It's a possibility. Do it again. The jury's back in. Only an hour and a half? Somebody did their job. Members of the jury, have you reached a verdict in case number 1187 CF? The People versus Lawrence Michael Coster. We have. Would you hand the verdict slip to the court clerk, please? <clears throat> Four person will publish the verdict. In the above entitled action, we find the defendant not guilty as charged. Well, if you may dismiss the jury. I knew it would work out. Talk to you later. All right, thanks. You did a wonderful job. Wonderful job. Why aren't you happier than we won? She's got sole custody, Loretta. None of this is any good if I lose Jessica. Hey! Hold on a second. She's a little... Look, Look at all that hair. <laughs> it's looking beautiful. Yeah. Uh, listen, um, you know, when I found out where you and Jessica were, I should have, I should have flown there right away. I know that. Oh, no, look, I, know I, that I wanted I to been... tell you that I didn't want that lawyer to come down on you like that. No, no, but I, I didn't want her to be so Can I finish? Can I? <laughs> Something's never changed. <laughs> uh, I didn't fly out to her right away because I mean by then I knew that she was okay I knew that she was she was safe and she was with her dad and maybe maybe better off thanks well okay buddy you ready oh, you ready for the big trip oh. are you ready for the big trip uh oh it's a little cranky I should miss your nap Okay, well, I'll have her back. Oh, 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 I think she misses you already. Bye! <laughs>